So the 701 is not a bad bike at all, it's one hell of a bike, and probably one of my favorites. Capable of cruising at highway speed and light enough for the basic single track. But there are a few things I really dislike about the 701, and I scratch my head why the manufacturer did this. Let me start with a basic explanation why I'm picking at these things. If you buy the 701 Enduro, chances are you are more off-road oriented and want to do trails towards the technical side, but also want to explore. Kind of like me, I love exploring, but if I see single track along the trail, I'm going to get curious about it and would like to tackle it, while on a big bike, I might just skip it. So with that in mind, you already know you will drop the bike numerous of times. Which brings me to my very first thing. See, I ended up crashing pretty fast, maybe about 15 to 20 miles an hour on the dirt with the 701, and the front was pretty much disassembled as soon as I crashed. I got home and I took a look at the damage, and I see tons of weak points on the headlights. I'm scratching my head why in the world would they design headlights like this? We pay a lot of money for these bikes and everything should be top notch, or at least make the headlights like the Enduro machines, which usually wraps around the forks and pretty much it's very hard to snap the lights. In this case, they are held by very weak points held by screws. The second thing I really don't understand is the side fairings and the lack of support and structure near the radiator. I know this all has fixes and you can buy a crash guard, but honestly I don't think the crash guard would have saved me on this one, as this fall was a bit of a weird angle head on. The fairing? The way they are held up is very weak. One nasty crash and you can be ordering new fairings on the fly, unless you are lucky enough to fix it with some epoxy or super glue. There are some rings around the fairings that really don't make sense to me, they are a huge weak point to know how these hold up in shape and around the radiator is kind of just exposed. While an actual Enduro machine has more modifications and support to, pre to prevent any kind of damage towards the radiator. Example, like the DE250i, the fairings have pretty much no weak points. They're all snap-on type of fairings, no screws, no weird weak assembly like rings on the 701 Enduro, where one crash can probably rip the rings off with ease. Wow, so I don't know if you guys see that, I'm gonna go on that edge right there on the edge of the mountain so it looks like the trail goes around The third thing I really don't get is why a paper air filter. We are paying premium price for this machine, so why not a foam air filter? I believe a foam oiled filter is way more effective versus a paper filter. But I get it, the company's trying to save some money and cut costs. But at the same time, they must believe the 701 Endura riders are more street oriented or something, when this is not the case. People who buy the 701 Enduro are going to want to do Enduro type trails, meaning we will be in the dust, water, mud, and possibly even snow. that really pisses me off about the manufacturer are these cheap handguards. I mean, really? You think these handguards will stand a chance when dropped, especially from a 300 pound plus machine? I think the company should at least invest in some kind of mediocre handguards, like the cheap China ones, which I have on the TE250i, and they hold up great. They're only around 20 to 30 bucks, and they are way better than the stock ones. Again, we are paying close to 10,000 or even 11,000 for a brand new bike. So why not throw at least somewhat quality items in there? Now, I'm not entirely sure if this is more of a safety thing from being sued. Say a rider's hand gets stuck in between the hand guards and it may cause a possible sue if they break their arms or something. While if we install it ourselves, it's on us. But maybe include some kind of disclosure or some kind of agreement. Hey this has handguards or something. Again, I'm not entirely sure on the legal level of this. 
But which brings me to my last and final thing. Now this I really hate, and it's probably my least favorite thing. It's that huge piece of pipe in the back of the machine that weighs as much as the moon. That exhaust gets massively hot, while an aftermarket pipe is only half the weight, does not get as hot, and most importantly, it's only half the size. Not much I can really talk about this one, it's just the pipe, but if it's going to be stock, at least make it much smaller. Even the Tenere 700 pipe is a fraction of the size compared to the 701 Enduro. So it really makes no sense why the manufacturer designed this pipe like this. Anyhow, those are my thoughts and opinions, I know they're not much, but these are things that kind of bug me as to why the manufacturer created the 701 like this. Other than that, this machine has been great, it's the ideal bike to explore, hit single track with, and just your all around machine. Anyhow, if you guys like my content, go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell button, I'll definitely be hitting trails around Utah, Colorado, Arizona, and other neighboring states, and I'll catch you guys on my next video.